Let's try the first problem. Here we have our market on equilibrium. $2 price, 800 units of 2% milk. The first problem says supermarket workers win a wage increase. Now is that a supply or demand issue? It's a supply issue. It's a cost of labor issue. Labor is now more expensive than before. So are the costs of production. So what happens? The supply curve shifts. Let's show that. Here's the new supply curve. We we'll call that S2. Now here's the question. Is the market still in equilibrium at $2? Well, no, it's not. At $2, consumers still want 800 units of 2% milk. What about producers? Well, where does the $2 line cut the new supply curve? Let's show that. About there. And we call that, say, 600 units. So now what? Well, we have an excess demand of 200 units. And what's going to happen under situations like that? Well, we started off here at this equilibrium. Where are we going to end up? Here at this equilibrium, a higher price where the original demand curve, which has not changed, cuts the new supply curve, S2. Now let's show that in red. So that's at a price of, say, $3, and a quantity of, say, 700. So now what? Well, here we have our beginning and end points. The market had been on equilibrium at $2 and 800 units. And now it's in equilibrium at $3 and 700 units as a result of the change in wages for supermarket workers.